Building a new improved gun cart. Once you begin with any shooting sport, you realize that there is a lot of stuff you have to take to the range and begin to wonder how to pack it all. This is especially true with cowboy action shooting. In cowboy action shooting, the minimum requirement to step up to the line is two handguns, one rifle, and one shotgun. Then it is move on to the next stage. So a gun cart is an essential piece of equipment. You can buy one from several internet sites or you can build your own. I built my first gun cart over 10 years ago. I started with an old ammunition box and built the cart around it. The box itself is quite large and heavy, weighing 40 pounds empty. The box sits on a two-wheeled truck with a detachable vertical gun rack. So basically, there are three parts that need to be transported and stored. Unlike some gun carts, which require a pickup truck to haul it, mine can be disassembled to the point that it can be transported in a car. However, it still takes up a lot of space. So here are the problems that I have encountered with my first gun cart. The first two I've already mentioned, weight and space. The next problem, I tried to keep the long guns confined within the framework of the vertical gun rack. This placed the rifles leaning forward wanting to fall out until secured. Also, it didn't leave much room for the lever action to be stored open as required by SAS rules. The levers hit the ammo box directly in front of them. Next, when the ammo box was opened, the lid rested against the rifles. One other problem was the cheaper grade of steel I used for the axle. This bowed over time and allowed the tires to rub the box and wear out faster. I have since replaced the axle with a larger diameter, high quality steel and resolved this problem. So given these problems, I resolved to build a newer improved gun cart for myself. I started by taking a very close look at the carts around me, the carts that other shooters were using. Taking pictures and making notes helped in my studies. I ruled out all specialty carts. Although great looking and fancy, a cart cut out of two plywood six shooters, a coffin, or a stagecoach wouldn't resolve any of my problems. Next, I started surfing the net, particularly looking at other cowboy action shooters' personal websites where they would post pictures of their equipment. Finally, I sat down and started to put my ideas on paper. First, did I need to carry more than two long guns? How could I carry long guns so that they didn't touch anything else on the cart? What size box did I really need to carry my ammo from stage to stage? What size tires were needed for gravel and rough terrain that is common at shooting ranges? Disassembly of the cart or folding? What will take up the less space in a vehicle or in storage? Above all, K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, stupid. Solution 1. Since my spouse rarely goes to shoots, I don't need to carry more than two long guns. I can keep a spare in the vehicle should I need one, and if my significant other decides to shoot, I can bring the old cart which holds four rifles. Solution 2. I definitely do not need the weight of a box that big. Solution 3. Don't confine the rifles behind the box. Store them on the sides of the box. I also decided that disassembly of the cart every time shouldn't be necessary if I can fold up the cart. Although, I need to keep in mind that the more folding parts reduces the strength. Now it was time to take a few measurements, make some concept drawings, and construct a few patterns to work out the joint. In a vertical position, an average 1800s long gun needs 8 inches of frontal space to allow for the comb drop. 30 inches is needed for the forearm wood and a width of 2 inches. I decided to build the bottom base and vertical gun rack out of 1x6 pine. This would allow for strength of all attachments. So I found out how far into the bottom box the back of the rifle would sit and how much farther was needed for the front of the rifle. This would help in determining a minimum length of the bottom box. The forearm length and where would be easier for the cart handle determined the height of the gun rack. Keep in mind the added lift of the wheel diameter. Next I checked the sizes of everything that was going to be carried in the storage box. 
This would determine the minimum width of the base. The storage box would not be able to remain permanently in place if the arms of the cart were to be folded. However, the dimensions of the storage box could be adjusted so that the length of the box did not exceed the interior width of the base for storage. Then I considered what would be the strength of each joint and then started making patterns out of cardboard to determine the pivot point. Now it was time to start buying materials and constructing. I toyed with the idea of using bolts for the wheels instead of a one-piece axle. This was abandoned because the stiffening needed to support the weight on the wheels would not have allowed free movement for the upright to be folded. Suede leather was used to cushion the rifle rests and wrapped around the grips of the cart handle. Now complete the whole cart can be folded and placed in the trunk of a compact car and still allow room for the guns and other items to be secured. In turn, this allows an economical form of travel to distant chutes. The greater plus is that now I have a lighter, stronger, convenient gun cart that offers more security and mobility for my long guns at the range. Thank you for watching my video.